<risa> Muchas gracias. Sí. Muchas gracias. Muy bien, bien, muy bien. Recuerdo hacer la vende en el coach Fulano. En el equipo que me gusta estar en el coach Fulano. En el caso de preparación para el game. Pero antes de eso, es también para agradecer. Sabemos que hay muchas press conferencias que se han hecho. Y agradecemos que se han hecho el tiempo para venir. Yeah, um, thanks, Shubs. Good afternoon to members of the media. Yeah, once again, to reiterate, thanks for coming. Um, yeah, preparations have gone well. We've tried to be in a good space where we can we can prepare for a very difficult side. Uh, Amazulu are a good team with some very good players, and you've already seen at the beginning of the season the the work that was done and the transfer window. And uh, of course, then also a very good technical team with uh, Brakis. I don't want to go too much into into the team because last time I spoke about a team coached by Brakis, there was a little bit of a, a, a an upheaval and discomfort from him. But I spoke to him in person, which was and we ironed things out. The reality also is that in in football, when we talk a lot about your team and how it plays, we are actually praising you as a coach because it's not always clear to have a, a team that's got good schemes and uh, clarity with what they try to do. So you know that with, with Brandon Truta, his teams are well coached. A little bit different to, to Swallows as Amazulu plays. Uh, Amazulu have, uh, as compared to Swallows when he was there with inverted fullbacks, this team has a little bit more with the aggression and, and wide and high fullbacks, especially uh, Hanamub on the left, Sikakane on the right, uh, strong midfield with uh, Buchanan, the one that really formulates a lot of the build-up schemes, uh, and very narrow and aggressive front three. Uh, and with that front three, of course, okay, they miss Quem now from, from suspension. But easily to, to play Nduli, Bonginduli, Majoro, and even Kaba uh, in that front three to, to give that narrowness and, and the possibilities to free the channel for, for, the, for the wing backs. But as I say, they've got that flexibility where they can even, even put a Zuma in that space. So a difficult team that is very good on set pieces, a very, very, very uh, strong side. They, they, they take the most shots outside of the box. Uh, George is good with that. Uh, Makawula is, is good in that space. Uh, uh, Buchanan is good in that space. So a difficult side and it's going to be a very, very, very difficult game for us. But we are happy. The more difficult it is, the, the better for us. I will open the floor uh, questions. <coughs> Questions? <coughs> Coach, <coughs> Coach Amazulu has not been doing well. I mean, I've listened to even some of their players talking about this match that it's a test that they probably need only if the results are guaranteed that they're going to get a win. What does it mean to you to play against a team that has been struggling for form in their last few matches? And what do they, what dangers do they pose to you? Very well that to yeah, I think if you look at the last three games, I mean, you've got the game against uh, Chipper where they lost, and then they they've got a draw against Chiefs, which was which was a good result, I think, for them. And then uh, in that space, they also won two one against Cape Town City. So maybe not necessarily not doing well, but maybe lacking consistency. They, they're a team that's, that's uh, averaging the highest number of shots from outside of the box so far in the league. They're very aggressive on, on transitions because they've got always the outlet of uh, the three strikers right on top of your defensive line. They play with very aggressive wing backs that uh, deliver a lot of crosses into the box, similarly to, to what we've seen now this season with quite a lot of the teams, like Supersport, for an example, who who play a lot for that and, and they play for, for, for that to Skakane. Left foot, right foot cross. Uh, Hanamug, okay, of course, predominantly with the left foot, but, but has got very, very good accuracy with the right foot. 
And then, of course, then they try to play for set pieces in and around the box to try to generate possibilities for chances. So intelligent defending becomes important for us. But but uh, we expect a difficult side uh, and a side that will will uh, give us hopefully uh, a very good game and not a game that is 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 is, is disturbed by fouls and fouls and fouls. And uh, a game where there's a lot of time wasting, I don't think uh, I've seen them try to do that a lot this season. So excited because, as I said, the hard eight is the better for us. Coach, how significant has it been having this win uh, with the players? Because you know what you've been How important was it? And what did you work on? Because you never get a chance to change it. Mm. Mm. No good. Uh, it's always good to have a neutral week, to to have the players on the pitch to work on a few things, uh, and also to to integrate the new players, especially because they they haven't really had a time to 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 work with us, and uh, and try to get into that space where they they adjust to not just the culture but the way of doing things, and that's that's what we try to do at Sundowns uh, in big clubs. It's about performance, and performance is is is, is an everyday thing. Is is how do we train? How do we do we work and walk into the training room? How do we come into this type of space where we sit and we have video analysis and to show the players where we are, where we want to go? We are in that space where, and I always say this: you can't promote. Or promise results in football. You you promise in big clubs performances, and then you work every single day for that. You work to make sure that the performances are good, and you 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 go to Golden Arrows with 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 great attention to detail. You go to SuperSport with great attention to detail on the analysis and on the preparation for the pitch, so that the performance on 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 uh, on uh, the weekend becomes. Uh, a performance that that gives you the best possibilities to achieve the results, and then when you are in that space, then it's about re replicating that and replicating that and maybe even improving. But um, yeah, good. We 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 we've also gone into a space where we've tried to look at some of the goals we've conceded and and and, and that, and even some of the the final actions in the in the final third where we we make very very complicated decisions sometimes, but. That's the work of the coaches. That's why we are here. That's why we are here to coach the players and to help the players to 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 improve their performance and to assist the team to get better. You spent a month with Arsenal. You knew you could move to Serie A. There's a lot of noise about you joining Sundowns and coming to South Africa. What do you make of the quality? Of the players and why did you choose to come to Sundowns? Yeah. Sí, entendí algo. Mm. De por qué vine a Sundowns, sí, sí. ¿no? Y por qué vine a Sundowns y después viniste con Arsenal por un mes. Mm. Eh, ¿Qué hizo Rojas? 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 ¿Qué hizo me hablaron que era un club muy muy grande aquí en, en, en África, no tan, no tan solamente en el país, sino que en el continente, así que eso obviamente me, me sedujo mucho, un, un equipo que siempre pelea eh, los títulos y, y nada. I can translate. <laughs> ah, really? Ah, ok. <laughs> yeah. No, because it's, it's the best team. In, in Africa, so I I want I I I can no I want trophies I I run too many trophies so this this is is is, is good and um, for this coming coming here yeah great answer. <laughs> 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 Coach, uh, what's your thoughts on uh, Tembazoni returning to, to the national team? Ah, is that so? Congratulations. <laughs> um, you know, it's great news. And also another question. Uh, our brothers there at Far Post uh, got scorpions everywhere. Because he has a machine for getting in the sundown's car coming to 
Is that so? Is that so? So I'm assigning another is that a question? <laughs> no, well, the Temba Zona, I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I've been advocating for this. Uh, and also, I want to take my hat off to, to Hugo Bruce because it's one thing to be stubborn as a coach and stubborn in a direction that, I mean, uh, I mean let's be honest, uh, in, in his position to show me someone better. And when you have a, that type of player and that type of quality available to assist your national team, in my opinion, is you, you bring the player to the national team because it's 50 million hearts and souls. It's not one. Uh, as the coach, I have the responsibility to protect and to carry 50 million hearts and souls. I've got the responsibility of making an entire nation extremely happy with performances, with results. And that means sometimes that uh, you may overlook certain players, but, but, but when you have the humility to be able to correct certain uh, narratives or opinions that you have formulated, I mean, that shows, that shows incredible leadership and uh, it's kudos to, 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 to Hugo Bruss on that, one, two, but also incredible from, for Temba Zwane because I think uh, being consistent, he's worked very, very hard and it's well deserved, you know, and, and that's what football should always be. Football should always be about meritocracy. Football should always be about the best players get the best opportunities to to give their best, and particularly when it's, uh, it's about representing your national team. And uh, yeah, it's, um, now I'm looking forward to, 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 to this, it's, uh, it's, great. it's great news. Terence? Terence, who still, until both clubs make an official statement, is not a Sundowns player, and he, because he's not a Sundowns player officially, I'd like to refrain from discussing him, but what I can say to you is that uh, we want the best players in this team, and we try to recruit the best players in this team, and uh, when they become available in the market, you know, we have an obligation to our supporters to make sure that we move in that space, to make our team as competitive as we possibly can. And uh, that's why we have Marcelo even here, who, as you guys already said, I mean, we beat off a lot of good competition to get Marcelo Allende because uh, proven pedigree plays for, for his national team. You know, imagine the quality and the caliber of players that play for the Chilean national team. And, and he's able to sit with us here and work with us every single day. That's the space we are in, we try to recruit the best players. And then, of course, uh, in this moment in time, the biggest thing for us now is, is, is when we bring in, also we've got to let go because uh, you, can't have, you can't have your cake and eat it. I don't know if that's applicable here, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you can't have too many. You know, that's that's the, the, the honest truth. So let's wait and see, and I'm sure the club will make an official statement. Coach, yes, I just come from the Balfour Sports. Sure, what come. have you been saying to Peter Shabini? Because it seems as if like the man is not stopping in scoring. And at this rate, it seems as if like he really wants to to to, to defend his title as a PSL footballer of the season. No, I haven't said anything. We haven't said anything. Peter is uh, Peter. He's got a very good head on his shoulders. Uh, there are things that we whisper on the training pitch. We work on certain things. What I do like about Peter, and maybe. <laughs> Maybe the, 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 the reality is on match day one or match day two, I was sitting right here and uh, we, we, we already had a lot of the articles on draft saying, Peter is not scoring, are you worried? Peter is not scoring, are you worried? And the answer was, uh, delete, you know, the, delete the articles because because 
because for sure the guy is going to score. And, and now we sit four or five match days later and the guy is already on, uh, is it six? He's on six goals, you know? And, 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 and not, not a lot of us speak about the doubt that was there at, at the beginning to what it is now. And, and, and it's sometimes I get the same feeling even with the team, you know? Like sometimes in the press conferences, I get the same feeling that there's doubts about the capacity of our team and the quality that of players that we have and the quality of performances. And of course, we know we can bet, get better all the time, but uh, Peter is just an example of, uh, 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 what do they say in English? They say the, the water, where, where the water stopped, it's a dry, direct translation maybe from a Zulu, or maybe even a, a, a Zulu uh, saying that uh, where the water stopped, it's going to stop again. So, I mean, I think we all know that Peter is going to score and continue to score. He's, he's an incredible football player, but he's an even incredible human being. I remember on, May, on, on the first day returning back from, from pre-season, I said to him, where to now, Peter? And you know what he said to me? He said, we just keep going and we try to do better than last season. And when people have that type of mindset, uh, you know that, that uh, a football player uh, that wants to grow and has that growth mindset, you, you, are, you are nine times out of ten guaranteed to reach a very good level. And one of the things that we spoke about even uh, two days ago with the squad is that the human being is the only species that was created that has the choice of whether it fulfills its potential or not. And every other creation that, that God created is, is, is knows that, I mean, that, that tree there will grow only as high as it can. A zebra grows and there's an average height that you expect. But the human being is the only creation that is given the choice of whether or not it fulfills its full growth potential. And, and then you have players like Peter who make these decisions every single day, to work every day on their craft, to, to put in the hours. And, and, and this is why even sometimes we speak and we say give the new signings time because there's an adaptation to mentality, to culture. Uh, apart from, from adapting to the style of play and the training, but because there's a certain way that we work every single day to try to make ourselves better, because we consciously make the decision of intentionally trying to get better and, and grow and improve, because when you have that choice, you, you can easily say, okay, I'm happy and, and where I am, but we want to be better, we want to win more games, we want to win more trophies, we want to, to improve the way we play and have more passes. We want to improve our counter-pressing, we want to be better at our high press and generate more chances from that. And we want to be a, a, a team that is very, very difficult to play against. And when you want to be that type of team, it means every single day you've got to put in that type of mentality. And, and, and that's not always easy, you know, uh, but we are getting into that space and uh, not just Peter, but Tembazwana, Andile Jale, Marcelo Allende, they run. They run and every day they know they have to run and they have to give the best that they can for the team because uh, that gives us the best possibilities to win football matches. And Peter it just happens to be one of the players that uh, really in that, in that moment epitomizes exactly the culture that we would like to see in this club. Coach, um, from Sakaladuma. I want to ask you about the ever-changing nature of Sanam, where one season you go out and you profile a particular player or players that would come in and suit your style, but then you might see that the next season it doesn't necessarily work out for that player. I mean, um, like a Pavel Sapranko. Oh, yeah, yeah. You went out profile in brought him in, he yeah, yeah. nine goals which by PSL standards is a decent return, mm. but then we see him then moving on. Mm. Um, do players then fall victim to the ever-changing nature that is Mamelodi Sanos? Because every season you guys seem to be reinventing yourself mm. in pursuit of that excellent that you speak about. Mm. It's a very good question. And part two, answering your question is, uh, I mean, uh, you speak about, and you could easily transfer this thing to life. Uh, and of, of course, always football is, is, gives you these microscopic reflections of how life is, 
where in a certain moment you, in your house when you have this beautiful couch that you bought that was very expensive and at that time you wanted it by the time you use it and you overuse it there is this certain level of complacency that can creep in and and when complacency creeps in there's a generally a level of comfort and when you are comfortable or too comfortable in fact if you do not generate some form of discomfort by maybe moving the couch into a different corner and maybe buying a different lampstand next to the couch so that it generates its color again and then it's a bit more appealing to the eye because maybe uh, what it needed was a different light to be put next to it. Not, not that the value of the couch has decreased, but maybe you needed to change the, the, the surroundings and you needed to change where it was put or what it was put next to. And that's life because if you get into that level of discomfort, then there's very, very easy levels of complacency that creep in. And for teams that are big teams, you are not allowed to get into that space because the, the more complacent you are, and as I said even before, we want things to be difficult for us because we want to be in a position where uh, we are sharpened by our opposition. Uh, it's a biblical principle, iron sharpens iron. And, and, and part to our work is to try to simulate or stimulate our players not to get into levels of, com of comfort. A lot of people are talking about why we moved from, from how we played from a structural perspective last season to what we are trying to play in a, in a 4 4 2 diamond, maybe a lot more this season. And then, of course, because we try also to have this flexibility on the structure, we don't pay too much uh, focus on, on, on the formations because we know that the formation is very fluid. The games are, are very chaotic in the sense in South Africa, but the reality is. If you, if you continue with what you, the players know, it's very easy to generate some form of, 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 of comfort. So you try to strike some, some discomfort and sometimes that discomfort comes in changing players, which I don't think we've done that quite a lot since we've been here. If you, if you were to check some of the players that have been uh, allowed to go, the, the reasons are, are, are multiple. And some of them want more game time, and that's normal. Uh, you look at Lukaku's situation again. He also, it was at Chelsea before Man United comes back to Chelsea, and then once after a season, he's he's shipped back to Inter. You know, uh, you've got so many examples. Griezmann leaves Atletico Madrid, comes to 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 Barca, and we expect very very good returns from him. And but unfortunately, it doesn't work out. And, and he goes back to Atletico. So the nature of the beast is, 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 is always uh, the game of football, trying to make sure that it, uh, it, it keeps everybody on their toes and it is an unpredictable game itself. And, and therefore, sometimes even things that happen within the game of football become unpredictable. And, 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 and we can't sit today and say, but we brought him last season, but if it doesn't work, we've got to be man enough and like you've seen with the example of Hugo Bruce, you've got to be man enough to try to correct what is not working. Instead of sitting in a position to be stubborn and say, well, we, we thought it would work and we want to see it work, and, 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 and the like. And, and also the reality is uh, some of the things that worked for us last season may not necessarily work this season. And some of the things that didn't work for us last season, like the structure that we've adopted, didn't really work for us last season and we played it in one or two games and we were, we were, not, we were not happy at all with uh, the comfortability of the players. And that's what we try to do. We try to make sure that from, from the pitch, on the pitch, the players are comfortable. They know what movements to make. They know what uh, positions to take, what spaces to identify. And then after that, it's the quality of the players to make the good decisions and to be in a, in a, in a way that allows them to, to give the best that they can for, for the team. I know there's hands that are noted, but is there any questions for Alain? Please. <laughs> 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 Maybe you still have a... I spoke to Coach. Okay. Yeah. Can ask Alain what's going on. Coach, thank you very much for your life. Sure, Benji. It's more than like you follow up on what you said. You put down at the start of the season. Yeah. Um, you, you have lost two games so far this season. And other secrets for other team supporters are saying that their teams are not taking advantage on Sunday on this uh, poor start, which is just a loss of two games. 
What's your take on that? Are teams not taking advantage of sundowns because sundowns is still on top of the league? Sure, Benji. Um, yeah, it's a tough one to answer because the reality is I, I don't know what's happening in other teams, you know, and uh, and um, we've got our work cut out here already, you know, we've got so much work to, to do to improve our own team and sometimes uh, uh, trying to look outside will, will make you distracted, you know, but but they have the responsibility to, to, to check and, and hopefully they, uh, the, the clubs, the rest of the clubs in the league come through and, and make it as, as, as competitive as we've seen. We expected that. You've had five log leaders now within the space of a month. Uh, something uh, we are not really accustomed to in, in South African football. But at the same time, if you look at where we are uh, from a global perspective, I mean, I mean, which teams in, 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 in the globe at the moment are firing from all cylinders? Bayern is, they, they played against Barca and, you know, Barca had really, really the better chances. And, and even though Barca came into it with a, with a very good uh, background with results, uh, they've, they've only drawn one and they've won all their matches. They went on to lose to Bayern, a team that had three draws in a row. Uh, Manchester City are not firing from all cylinders. Liverpool are struggling. Chelsea are struggling. So the big teams globally are in a space because also maybe of the World Cup and the scheduling of the games. That puts its toll on, 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 on the teams. But okay, be that as it may, I think we want to improve, as I said even earlier to you, we want to be better. That means every single day we come here to try to be better. We try to be better with our passes, try to be better with our pressing, try to be better with our game principles. And, and then uh, at the end, we can't control what the opposition does. Yeah. A big yeah. No, he's doing well. To Alanda, just a few things. There was a guy here in San Francisco called George Afuna, this countryman. I just want to check. He uh, really, you know, um, uh, I speak to him to find out uh, how the club is and also um, you know, how has he found the, uh, the, 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 the country and you know, the, the, the league? Uh, uh, how has it been for him? Uh, no, no, no. no. He, 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 no, no, I, I, I don't speak with, with Jorge when I speak with the, the Uruguay players, Lejia and Afonso. Mm -hmm. And he told me the, the country is very nice, the, 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 the competition is, 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 is hard because the, the play, the, the, the other team is, 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 is hard in, 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 in the pitch. But yeah. now, nah, for eso vine. Okay. The <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay. Um, I'd like to know, uh, from Papos, um, what's your impression of uh, South African football? You know, the coaching that you're getting, you know, the level of the game. Uh, how do you feel about that? What's your impression? <coughs> The coaching is a la case. No, in español, más fácil. Okay. He thinks he wants to express in Spanish. Yeah, 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 in español. No, que la calidad de de jugadores que hay acá en el equipo, en nuestro equipo es muy bueno y y nada. Yeah, the quality of the players and the coaching here in our team is actually good, so I'm pleased with that. Sí, nada, la competencia, como lo dije anteriormente, lo traté de decir que es muy dura, que cada equipo tiene propone su su estilo de juego, que lo hace difícil y la verdad que eso es muy bueno para 
para la liga que la hace muy muy competitiva. And also the quality of the league is actually interesting because each and every team has their own style of play and then they make it difficult for each and every team they play against because they stop on and how they actually press. Nah, really y, y, y en cuanto a, lo, a los entrenadores, que nada, saben mucho, son tres cerebros que ahí están ayudando, ayudándote y exigiéndote constantemente, así que eso es muy bueno para los jugadores que nos tienen ahí al 100% enfocado todos los partidos. Actually it's good to work with the coaches throughout and actually helping us a lot because they actually know a lot about the football, the knowledge they have, the expertise, so they help us on every aspect of the game. <laughs> that guy in the meeting, you know that meeting, the guy in the meeting, they said, I've got nothing but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy here, so happy because the people is nice, eh, me trata bien, eh, es muy alegre, la alegría que siempre que hay en toda la gente, la verdad que es muy bueno. Actually, he's happy because people actually have happy people around and actually they give a positive energy, so it's actually happy. Yeah. It's difficult because in my country is the other side, no? Mm -hmm. But it's alright. I'm, I'm better. <laughs> I, No, but uh, I the the question um, I I look I Mamelodi Sundowns is is a is a is a football club of course that has to be able to 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 get the best players for sure the best players make us the best team the game of football belongs to the players we repeat this all the time. What I don't want to get into is the speculations about how much the player costs because uh, unless we all know and it has been confirmed, which to me was never confirmed, then, then we speak on the transfer fee in relation to it becomes speculation, becoming speculation rather than fact. And the reality also is that if you, if you look at the club in its entirety, and what the club represents. Of course, uh, part to us recruiting the best players means, of course, making use of the resources that the, the club is blessed to have. But I think, uh, as we always say, I think the game of football is not as important as life itself, because I mean, if you remember where we were as a, as a country when the minister said he's building a tower with 30 million, there was a huge upheaval from, from the people to say, excuse me, but 30 million when you have almost 40% uh, or maybe even 45% of your population as a country being unemployed. And that type of money could have gone into various other possibilities to try to help our people. And, and therefore, when you look at our leadership, our leadership that represents uh, always giving back to our people and always making sure that uh, we are a club that is there for society, for the communities. Uh, it becomes very, very difficult to even preempt that we could even get into that type of space where we could spend so much money on a football player. And that's why I say I doubt that, uh, apart from what you speak and see and read in the media, I doubt that the club is in that type of position and therefore it becomes very difficult even for Marcelo to respond because the reality is we would then be responding based on speculation and not fact. Respondo yo, ¿no? No, sí, no, que yo 
trato de jugar, vengo a eso, vine a, a ganar partidos, a hacer goles, a hacer asistencia, tratar de ganar la mayor cantidad de trofeos acá y no me afecta la verdad, trato de, como te digo, de pensar siempre en jugar, estar dentro del campo me, me hace feliz, no, no me preocupa mucho lo, lo otro. Es to play and to play football, that's what he has to do and uh, he puts everything he has in, in the game, so he's got nothing to do with what's actually been said out there, so he hasn't actually affected him to be precisely answering your question because he's never actually put it in his mind, he's here to work and love and play the game and do another thing on the pitch. Can we have the last three questions, please? Yeah. <coughs> uh, does he think coming to play for Mohamed Sundowns will help him to get back to the Chile national team? There's been some criticism from Chile that maybe could have gone to a better league. How does he deal with that? Sí, obviamente me obviously, I would like to go back to the selection, but all that depends on me. Solo, siempre depends on me. De que, como te lo dije anteriormente, si hago buenos partidos, si hago goles, si hago asistencia, va a llamar la atención de muchas personas y eso la verdad va a abrir eh, eh, la vista, te van a mirar de otro lado y por qué no de la selección. Así que, como te digo, todo depende de mí, de mi rendimiento en, dentro de la cancha. Well, well, obviamente, me gustaría ir a la selección nacional, pero todo depende de él y cómo se performa the level of, of attention to him, he gives to the pitch and the goals he makes and then assists and how he helps the team. So then we'll actually bring him back to the same sport he was to be playing for the national team. But all that doesn't depend on the external factors, it actually depends on him, on how he performs in the, in, with the team. And then once that is actually continued, then they will see him again and he will be called again. Hola, Marcelo. Hola. Uh, you you spent uh, Twice you went to Arsenal, um, and uh, you know, but you ended up coming to play in South Africa. A lot of people are following English football from this side of the world. I mean, you, uh, I'm told you actually spent more than a month uh, during one of your spells. I mean, based on what you you saw while you were in Arsenal and what you've experienced here in South Africa, how does it compare? La diferencia entre aquí y donde yo estaba en Arsenal porque fuiste allá dos veces, por decir que eras por más de un mes o todo eso, ¿sí? la diferencia entre los sí. dos países. Okay. Eh, bueno, no, diferencia, eh, no alcancé a jugar ningún partido obviamente de Premier League, solamente entrené, obviamente un, un nivel, el, el nivel más, más alto que hay dentro del fútbol para mí es la Premier. Y nada, por eso vine acá, para mejorar en, en ese aspecto que los jugadores africanos se, se, se conocen por, por su rapidez, por su velocidad, por, por su fortaleza y nada, adaptarme a eso me va a ayudar mucho a llegar al, a, un, a, un, a otro paso que quiero dar, que es llegar a Europa. Okay. Obviamente, cuando estaba ahí, y afortunadamente, en as much as I've trained with Arsenal, I never played actually a single game with them. But it's also what actually happens in my football, football career. But the decision to come this side, and it's difficult to differentiate between the Arsenal and, 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 and Sundowns. But because we all know that Premier League for him actually is the high intensity, uh, speed, and all those things are actually at a high level. But for him, it helps him a lot to be in this side because he would actually, he knows African players globally, they're actually the fastest players you can get. They actually play good, they're talented. So with everything that he can actually adapt, he will actually improve his game into the, to another level as well. So me, last word from you, and then... Yes. Right, Sonny. You spoke quite a bit about players not being complacent and comfortable. Um, with the FIFA break coming up, with the MTNA coming up, with the added competition also coming up, just how important would all of that be now um, in terms of how you guys kind of make sure that the players don't get into competition and change anything or how do you approach these next few weeks that are coming up? Yeah, no, no, um, rest, recover, um, maybe Marcelo takes a private jet to, <laughs> to <laughs> Chile <laughs> yeah, 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 to, and spend some time, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and spend some time with the family, very important, um, you know, but that's the time for us to be able to, we, we demand a lot from the players. We ask, we ask them to run, to push, to, to do so much that 
when when they do have a bit of time, you know, they can they can relax a little bit, spend some time with family. So the next couple of of, of days after the the Amazulu match, we will probably have a, a friendly against. Um, We'll have a friendly against Township Rollers. We're trying to, to, to squeeze that in for, for a lot of our players that are within the squad who don't get a lot of game time. And then we give a bit of time off uh, because for sure, I'm sure they, they, get tired. <laughs> they get tired of us demanding and pushing and, uh, and also because they deserve the rest, you know. They work very hard. They are astute professionals that give so much of, of themselves to the club. And, and uh, it will be well deserved time off and, and, and a break that they, 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 they very much deserve. Yeah, and before the coach goes, I think you might have seen the posters about uh, what Sundowns will be doing this weekend or Sunday. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, uh, commitment from the club that when COVID is over, there will be something that is done. Uh, just from your side, coach, to no, first, first on that top topic, uh, Shoops, uh, I want to put uh, the chairman, uh, especially uh, Tlopi, for for showing, you know, uh, Ubuntu. You know, it's uh, it's called Ubuntu in our culture, where. Uh, an important part of, of, of leadership is, is gratitude and extending that gratitude. And I think Mambelodi Sanons have done exceptionally well through, through the leadership of, of, of the chairman to, of course, and, and, and the people that support him. I mean, Sugar is here and you see how close he is to the chairman. And, and of course, I'm sure the advices and the, 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 the ideas that he shares with him. But to have a, a chairman that's got a lot of uh, respect for others and, and shows uh, this element of gratitude for, for players that have been selfless and hardworking soldiers for the club like, uh, like Klompo has been. Klompo epitomizes the, the culture, the values, the, the principles of, of, of this incredible football club. And uh, it is only befitting that uh, this type of this type of uh, send off. Okay, maybe we can say, due to COVID and many other issues, and not having the supporters in is a little bit uh, long overdue. But the reality is, uh, it's an incredible it's an incredible uh, venture, and uh, hopefully the supporters Bangeza in their numbers shoots and uh, give give a legend the the send off but not just the send off but because I'm sure he'll still be here with the club in various other positions but also just to show our gratitude and appreciation for his selflessness his commitment and and of course the trophies that he's assisted the club to 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 receive and to win but the reality is uh, uh, you don't miss giants. Giants are always in and around your space because of the the, the feelings and the the capacity that they they've given from a from an emotive sort of space. So, kudos to Mama Lodi Sundowns for 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 that, and uh, in particular, heads off to to our chairman Tropi. As coach mentioned, uh, two right here. So, is there any one-on-one -on -one sort of insights into Trump when you can talk to him? Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. <coughs> Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias.